You want to know how to turn your fire stick into a media machine? Stay tuned. Everybody wonders about the Fire Stick 4K to find out does it have the power you need. Well, I tell you what, it's for the price of it, man, I, I don't I can't see how you can go wrong. But can you make it better? Absolutely. That's what we're gonna do today. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I did it a, a very low dollar system that you can use to bump up everything on your fire stick to make it work like an actual TV box uh, like an NVIDIA and stuff like that. It's not that it's going to be an NVIDIA, but this is going to be something that I think you're really going to like. So let's get to it and I'll show you what we're going to do. I tell you what, let's go ahead and unbox this stuff and let's get to it. And this, it's going to be trying to be a short video for you. Just hang with me, watch all the way through so you catch everything. Okay, what you have is you have your fire stick, you have your extender if you want it, but let's go with this we can open it doo -doo -doo. it actually comes with a disc for I'm sure instructions and shit like that okay this is cool all right I love tearing off this stuff mmm feels so good Okay, what this is, uh, the Ugreen 2.0 multifunctional hub. This thing works excellent. Okay, so you have three actual USB ports. Uh, this, we can hook up Ethernet on it. So, how would this work? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and hook up the Ethernet. All right, so we have an Ethernet hooked up. Next. Next, we're going to go ahead and... Get the cables out. Now these cables they come in two. Uh, even has little zip ties in there. Uh, but they are very nice cables. They do work well. You have this. Turn it around so it works actually. All right. Next, you're going to hook up your hub. The hub goes. To there next doo -doo 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 -doo. you're gonna run your power in okay this is your setup now okay this is where you can do anything you want uh, you're gonna have internet coming in excuse me a second okay what we're gonna do next is you you look at this there's your hard drive Okay, so you can put a hard drive on here and you will see it through your fire stick because of this. And I will show you all this on, on screen and show you how it works. If you have like a keypad that needs a dongle, uh, this will work here. This is a great setup and let's go ahead and get to it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, uh, what we're going to need to do since we have it all hooked up, we do not have the Ethernet hooked up yet. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go through this and we'll do a real quick speed check. Um, and I'll show you how to get uh, into your new hard drive area and your USB area. So what you want to do, if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the screen. So what you want to do is go to your uh, magnifying glass. And you want to start off with, if you haven't already done this, get ES. Oop, there it is right there. It's ES File Explorer. So you want to go down there, grab that. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and OK and we're going to download this dude. So it's going to start processing it and it's in the queue. It, it doesn't take much to uh, download. It's, it's pretty quick as it's installing. Uh, having this program is so you can go into your, uh, into your new hard drive area. Okay, so we're all set there. Okay, so now that we've downloaded it, we'll open it here in just a second. Let's go ahead and, uh, all right, let's go. All right, we're going to go ahead and just. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and go. Internet speed test. Okay. Get down here to it. Testing download. And then it'll go ahead and test on upload. Which isn't bad. And where I'm at, it uh, and internet sucks at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're looking at 17.3.564. So let's hook up the let's hook up the Ethernet directly to the router and see if we come up there. Okay, what we need to do is go over to the settings and let's go ahead and go down into your network settings there. That way we can show that we are connected with the Ethernet. And we'll go ahead and redo a uh, speed test now that we know that we are connected and it's going through the Ethernet. Now let's go ahead and go to uh, the downloader program again. You want to click over and go to the left and hit the browser. And here we're going to go ahead and type in speed test but it's already there I saw that so let's go ahead and out, click out of that and click on speed test again and we'll go ahead and run it sometimes this mouse part of it <laughs> isn't the greatest but it works so not looking too bad we were what 17.4 on uh, without the wireless and five something on the upload and I'm in a real congested time right now so well that's not too bad well see there is a difference um, it does seem to help and I kinda like it. it it's you always when you have a internet connection like that that directly in it's always going to work better so now let's go and check on the uh, hard drive and I'll show you how to do that okay now that you see that we get uh, we get everything's hooked up we check the speed on it let's go to the file and let's take a gander at uh, take gander there it is as you can see it'll say it under SD card uh, now you can put a lot bigger uh, thumb drive or even an external hard drive uh, external hard drive has to be powered by itself uh, for it to work the best so let's go ahead and go down here and go to the SD card as you can see I got stuff on it uh, let's go ahead and play something there alright let's go to this time only Now this is just to kind of show you what you can do if you have it in Kodi, if you can, I mean this is 4K stuff and it's, it plays very well. Um, you know, because it's right there, it's on your hard drive, you put a whole list of movies on there and watch it from there. So, or just, you know, use it as an Android box. I mean, this is what, why we're doing this is so you can get a little bit faster speeds, have your Fire Stick look like an Android box. So, yeah, it's uh, it works really good. Let me go ahead and get out of this. Get back home. And let's go back out. And I think you're going to like this. So, I'll have everything in the comments, by the way, too. So, that way you can get all this if you want it. And I've gotten the lowest best product. Uh, lowest cost best product for you. So you don't have to spend a fortune to get this stuff going. You see what I'm talking about, guys? Uh, this is it. This system really works well. And it's something that's, like I said, is very inexpensive. I have the links to everything below. You're not going to spend a lot of money doing this. You're going to like doing this. 
because now you have a you can put on a media server you can put on uh, you know the a cloud you can hook up all kinds of stuff to this thing now that will help you if you have you know it just works and i hope you liked it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and i appreciate you guys sharing this uh video with everybody you know and remember to subscribe uh this is one of the things that we we're trying to get our channel back up the way it was before we got hacked yes uh my t-shirts are going on sale we own a new design i will show it to you next uh next video uh that's coming and we'll probably be giving some away so make sure you subscribe and get all the good stuff so until next time keep watching guys mm -hmm.